We're in that time where all right, the, 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 the spirit of bondage was spoke about in Isaiah 19 chapter, the mind of the Egypt is diminishing that. Okay, the mind, because uh, Egypt means house of bondage. The mind of the house of bondage is America. Okay? Because because uh, every everything, every, because this this world, okay, this world, uh, 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 the Esau's uh, 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 wicked beast system inconveniences the righteous to be righteous. Okay? But those that, uh, uh, like I said, in Jeremiah 30 chapter, you know, that yoke was assumed to be uh, 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 broken from this thing. All right, we're going to be able to serve our Lord, okay, uh, 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 you know, completely, okay, but not into this, this into this place, uh, America, about and great, this fool. All right, this is Luke 4 and verse 18. The spirit of Yahweh by Shimei shines upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised. God, we are bruised, man. We, we, are, we are bruised because we're in captivity, all right? We're, we're suffering the, the curses out of Deuteronomy 28 chapter, okay? And so, so now, you know, uh, uh, we get up to the uh, 14 to 26, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, you know, so, so the company is here. Okay, and how should I say he leaves us a company? Okay, and that's and that's the uh, the, the, uh, the Holy Spirit of God. Man. Okay, to, to remind us, okay, uh, uh, that we have our Redeemer and and our Almighty Shaker Okay, and because being that he is the word manifested in the flesh, okay, we are to follow after his example because he comes to the last death, okay, which which is this flesh. Okay, the wars against the spirit, right? That 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 we know that uh wars against our true self, our spirit, all right, uh, in the spiritual war, okay, to do to do right by our power, man. okay. Uh Okay, time, time. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 146, and verse 5. It reads, Happy is he that hath the most high on Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, his power, which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that therein is, which keepeth true forever, which ex executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, looses the prisoners. Uh, 
and, and that's what that's that's what we're waiting for. Okay, we're waiting for the Lord, okay, to what? To, to, uh, to bring peace upon the earth, man. Okay, to get us out of the the the, uh, the oppression that we're in, to get rid of this this, uh, uh, this system, okay, that the Edomites are, are currently in control of. Heavenly Father, your holy and holy God and Son is our source of help, our source of our strength. Okay? As God said in the Psalms, the Lord is my strength and my salvation. You see? And when our strength and our salvation is not in peace, I mean, it. It said in Jeremiah 17, 5, it speaks about uh, uh, you know, a curse being you know, put upon us for trusting in men. Okay? So that's part of the snares and the, you know, within the stumbling blocks and, and, and the strongholds of this devil system to deter our mind from serving the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, and Shah. Okay, uh, this is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter ten, and verse four. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai the Hamashiach. Because everything in this world, okay, is is uh, is this part of it. That's why Second Corinthians four and eighteen he speaks about, you know, uh, you know, putting trust in the things that we can't see, okay, over the things that are temporal. So the things that are temporal can be burned up, man. That's why how should I said in Saint Matthew twenty four two, uh, that that not one stone should be left uh, on stone down. Okay, what's the first verse? Meaning everything in the house shall pass and be uh, uh, converted to dust. And he coming back with that hot wrath, okay. And everyone who's not a part of the elect, that that small remnant, the name of the book of life, can be destroyed because. The Lord, the Yahweh Shem Shai, is only coming back to redeem the elect. Okay, he's only coming back to save the elect from it from this uh opinion destruction. Man. This is the book of St. John, chapter 14, and verse uh, 26. It says, But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Can we did it again? St. John chapter 14, verse 26. It says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Uh, so, you know, so that Comforter was bringing back to the remembrance of everything that's written in the book of, uh, book of remembrance. We spoke about it in uh, Malachi 3 and 16. Okay? And, that, and, that, and that's the things that are written for time for our learning. Okay? So that way, you know, we, we, can, we can come back into the with my understanding, okay, uh, what uh, pleased the Lord for us to be deemed void enough to be spared from his inclination was played from these last days because the, uh, the evils are intensifying these last days because the needs of people are, are, are uh, collectively evil. See that? Okay, the point. And that's why down in Romania, there's a, there's a woman, I don't know if she's Edomite or not, there's a so called uh, white woman, it looked like a uh, Edomite woman, who got mauled to death by uh, a bear. She, she got uh, mauled to death by the bear. But what happened was uh, the bear took her and, and, and uh, flung her uh, 400 feet off of a mountain. Path. Uh, some mountain range, man. That's terrible justice. Then three of those Shedemite babies over there in the UK got, uh, 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 they got pricked to death, man. You see? So these are spirits of vengeance, you know, how by shot the leash upon the wicked wife, because evil shall uh, pursue sinners, man. You see? Yeah, I, did, I, did, I, did, I did a lesson, lesson uh, not too long ago, that a, a, a so-called, what perceived to be a so-called white woman, she was outside with her children, and uh, uh, wolves came in and ate her and her children, uh, killed them. Yeah. That was the day. That was the day before Mother's Day. That was this year. Yeah, the day before Mother's Day. Right. Morning, guys. Oh, come on. Romans 15 and 4. Let me read this real quick. Oh, Saint John chapter 14, verse 27. It reads, "Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let let it be afraid." Yeah, right. I got one for that. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, this is um, Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 4. For Yahweh, well, show me how we shine. Your power is He that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. And the officers shall speak unto the people and say, What man is there that have built a new house? and have not declared it let him go home let him go and return to his house lest he die in the battle and another man declare it let me skip down to four uh eight to deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 8 
and the officers shall speak further unto the people and they shall say what man is there that is fearful and faint of heart let him let him go home let him return unto his house lest his brother brethren's heart faint as well as his heart right and it's, it was going to heart going into love right so this is ultimately what this is a battle man we, we have to realize that the lord like you said he'll bring his peace not the, the way that the world brings peace but his peace man so the lord is coming to what fight for us man right so the, the, the spirit the spirit of the lord is to fight for you man right and not against you right so if the lord is with you like the scriptures say the lord be with you who could be what against you right so that's ultimately what, what it is. The Lord is supposed to fight for us. And, and when the Lord brings his spirit upon you, you don't fear in the same way that you would fear. Why? Because what? You know that what? We're going to return again, man. We're going to die. And we're going to, we're going to, if we die as martyrs, we're going to return. And we're going to be the first ones on those ships. Right? And if, and if, 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 if do so, the Lord said he, what? He's going to feed us, right? Right? We're not, we're not going to be afraid because, you know, some people are going to go without water, without food. And there's a, there's a way when the Lord's Spirit comes upon you, you're just, you're just gonna uh, have a sense and have a know that you, you're just not gonna be afraid. You know what I mean? But then, Judah five and eighteen. This is the book of Judah, chapter five, verse seventeen. And while they sin not before their power, they prospered mm. because the Most High that hated iniquity was with them. Right. Okay. Iniquity sin upon sin. Okay. You know that's why you know it says uh, uh, Romans six. Wages and his death gives the life and eternal. You know, my shaker, how I shall look. Okay, but only, only, uh, uh, it says in St. John 4 24, only those in these last days will serve uh, the Lord in faith and truth. Okay, and, and those who and those who will have that, that, uh, that, that uh, given that righteous luxury of the elect, those who came in the book of life, man. okay, to, to attend to the words that are written in the book of life for our learning. Man. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, verse 18, Judas 5 and 18, but when they departed from the way which he had appointed them. They were destroyed in many battles very sore, and were led captive into a land that was not theirs. Mm. And the temple of their power was cast to the ground, and their cities were taken by the enemy. What happened in 70 AD? That's what happened to you. That's what happened to you. The main yeah. points of the victory, right? The Babylonian, 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 yeah, yeah. 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 The, 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 the medieval Persian Empire, all right? That's why Jeremiah came out, like Jeremiah 2, 14, you know, why, why Israel's school, why you know, Jacob, uh, oh, all boys slaves. Right. Kind, see, because yeah. he, he sinned against our power. Uh, uh, Ezra said it too. Why, why, why? Uh, uh, the, the heathen rule. Why do the heathen rule over us? Right? Uh, yeah. When you, the Lord made the world for, for our sake, man. How, how is it that they they possess it, but we don't possess uh, what belongs to us, man? Why do we not have an inheritance? Why do we not have an inheritance? Yeah, the Lord, right? But just, uh, just going back to what you just what you saying, about how uh, if you're obedient to the Lord, He's gonna He's gonna protect you. All right, this is uh, Isaiah the fiftieth chapter. We start at verse 4. I'm reading the Good News Translation. And it's entitled, The Obedience of the Lord's Servant. Okay, I'm starting at verse 4. Isaiah 54, Good News Translation. The Sovereign Lord has taught me what to say so that I can strengthen the weary. Every morning he makes me eager to hear what he is going to teach me. The Lord has given me understanding, and I have not rebelled or, or turned away from him. I bared my back to those who beat me. I did not stop them when they insulted me. When they pulled out the hairs of my beard and spit on my face. But their insults cannot hurt me because the sovereign Lord gives me help. I brace myself to endure them. I know that I will not be disgraced for the Most High is near. And he will prove me innocent. Does any, does any dare bring charges against me? Let us go to court together and let him, let him bring an accusation. The sovereign Lord himself defends me. Who then can prove me guilty? All my accusers will disappear. They will vanish like moth-eaten cloth. All of you that honor the Lord and obey the word of his servants, the path you walk may be dark indeed, but trust in the Lord and rely on your power. All of you that plot to destroy others will be destroyed by your own plots. The Lord himself will make this happen, and you will suffer You will suffer a miserable fate. Isaiah 50, chapter 9. Good translation. That brings us up now. So even though, even though we're, we're back within that, that straight and narrow path of serving our power, okay, we're still, to, we're still expected by power to suffer straight from okay, instead of those, you know, instead of going through, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, going through the wide gate. The straight thing represents the, the hard path to get to the kingdom of heaven. 
Whereas the white gate represents more of the, the easier path. You see, and you see, comfort kills kings, or comfort destroys kings, as they say, like the world of terrible things. Where do they get that knowledge from? They got that wisdom not just standing from the street. Well, so we said, well, a gift destroys the heart. That's right. Right. Yeah. Isaiah 53 and 5, it reads, But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Just to uh, show the receipt for the, uh, the the treatment that he received on account of us. You know, like Acts 22 years, and the prophet of God, you shot, so I'm back to claim the See, because I'm back to my brother said, The scripture says you've been bought with a price. Yeah, right. right, right. So that that price comes with what? What do we see? Yeah, like you said, you bought something, and that that uh, to buy back means to what? To redeem. Us. And that's that's what the Lord's coming to do to to redeem us, man. To bring us back up to Him. Read means to do again. So all these people who said that they could just come into this thing and never been a part of it, you know, the Lord just all of a sudden said, uh, you know, whoever, who, whosoever. But uh, but then they don't read down the ye men of Israel, right? Come on now to make sense so i'm gonna go ahead and look this out romans chapter 15 verse 4 for whosoever right <laughs> who for, for whatsoever thing were written before time were written for our learning right and that's not dealing with everybody else man the r is possessive is dealing with the israelites written by israelites for israelites man right by his whites for his right that yeah yeah, fubu, yeah the real fool the original fubu, right yeah. that we through patience right so we're going to suffer and we're, we're suffering in the ghettos the body of the reservation 
we're suffering as, as the men of the Lord, seeing, seeing thieves and atrocities, and even the demons, they, hey, they come to you in your dreams. They come to you in, in, in your sleep. The things, your bones ache, all sorts of things happen. You suffer infirmities when we're supposed to be, uh, uh, you know, we're supposed to live forever. We're not supposed to die, right? That, that's, that's a, hey, we're, we're suffering, man. That's what, what the Lord said, with patience, man, we're suffering, right? And, and, with the, and confirm, com, it, com, com, form, comfort, 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 yeah. And the comfort of the scriptures, lucky, and the comfort of the scriptures might have hope, right? And so the comfort of the scriptures, this, this is where, you, this is where you, you develop your hope, your hope in the Lord, like what he just read. He said, the, the, oh, what this brother read, what did, what did it say? Jeremiah 20 and 11. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Hey, see, the Lord is with you as a mighty, terrible one. So that's, that's hope, right? When the Lord, like in Deuteronomy uh, 20 and 4, it said the Lord goes with you to fight for you, right? So that, a hey, that is comfort. That is comfort and hope, right? And even it says it in Proverbs, it says that, that, that we may have hope in death, man. So we, we know that we're going to suffer. We're going to suffer even, even unto what? Unto death, man, right? Heavenly Father, you're going to fight for you, or you're fight against you. But our hope is that he's going to fight for us by, by uh, uh, taking heed to what he told us to do. Can we bring it up on the show? Yep, yep, yep. 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 Judah chapter 5, verse 19, just to finish, finish it off, it says, But now are they returned to their power, uh, and, and are come up from the places where they were scattered, and have possessed Jerusalem, Yasharala. It says, where, where their sanctuary is, and are seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. Our people is losing the people that's more place. We were desolate. Okay, you know, by, by, uh, uh, it's always going to change the world. That's why Jeremiah 10, uh, Jeremiah 10 chapter, that was probably how it was commanded not to go, to uh, walk away from the people. Okay, worship their gods, you know, you know, to, to, and that's why Romans 12, 2 says, I'm conformed to the way of the world. Because everything in the world, including the lust of the eyes, business is not in the fuck. See, it's all, and that's all really distraction to turn away from that. You see? You know? So, so we, we have our blueprint for our nation to serve the Lord and help us to be shy. That's really the help shot. Okay? Go ahead, brother. Yeah, I know. We'll, we'll, we'll skip down. Same, same chapter, Romans uh, 15. I'm going to skip down to 6. It says that he may, with one mind and one mouth, glorify the power, the most high, the power. Well, show me how was shy, even the father are out of one, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right? So hey, we're we are we are in this in one, one consent, one one mind, having the same doctrine, speaking the same things, man. Right? In the same hope that the Lord would defend us, man, and not the rest of the world, man, not the rest of the heathen. The script the scripture says, uh uh oh, uh, why do the heathen rage, man? You're you're, you're doing a vain thing. That you're raging that you think you could be a part of this thing of ours, man. Right? It says, Wherefore, is up verse 7, wherefore receive ye one another as Hamashiach also received us to the glory of the power of the most high Yahweh Shai, man. He received us. And that's what you said. That's the hope that we have, man. That he received us, man. That he defends us. And that's our hope. I got three seconds. This is the book of Isaiah, 35th chapter in the Good News Translation. And I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, give strength to hands that are tired and to knees that tremble with weakness. Tell everyone who is discouraged, be strong and don't be afraid. The Most High Yahweh is coming to rescue, coming to your rescue and coming to punish your enemies. The blind will be able to see and the deaf will hear. The lame will weep, so like the lame will leap and dance. And those who cannot speak will shout for joy. Streams of water will flow through the desert. The burning sand will become a lake. And dry land will be filled with springs. Where jackals used to live, marsh grass and reeds will grow. All right, so this is, you know, the word of hope right there, man. All right, and this, this is where, I think it tells me about Hebrews. Somewhere it says that strengthen the people need. Right? This, this, this is where it comes from, Isaiah 35 chapter. All right, you know, just, just uh, you know, words of hope because in this society, you know, people that don't have this truth, what is, what's the scripture says? Uh, where there is no vision, the no people perish. Yeah, in this society, our right, people don't have no vision of a, of a brighter future. 
All right, all that, you know, all you got to look forward to in this society is working until you're 80 years old, you know, and, and, and until you die pretty much. All right, there's, there's, there's no hope for, for really having anything, you know, living a decent life in this society. This is uh, Second Esther, chapter seven, verse forty-three. But, but the day of doom, right? Talk about the end, right? Because it's going to be a day, a day of doom that's happening, right? Shall be the end of this time, right? So the end of the, this age of Esau's leadership is coming to an end, man. Right? The the, 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 the pain, us dealing with uh, infirmities, uh, diseases, all these other things, us suffering. To be like a, a second or third class citizens under all these heathens who, who are really uh, uh they, they, they don't amount to us man right i mean we like to go to the sports but look at all the things we created but right? everything that you have you ever uh touch or you, you they do in regular life the elevators were created by us the elevators the escalators the refrigerator all these things the the, 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 the microwave the air, air conditioning the things that you need that set necessity things were created by us but they're looking over us like oh this is so dumb Dumb niggers, right? Right. 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 The beginning of immortality, see, and that's all we were hoping for. We have that immortality, right? You know, we live that's forever. That's what I hope like. Right? And that, this world cannot possibly offer. That's why I believe the progress is needed. The, the, the expectation of the Mickey Shell is something else. So, see, with their expectation, uh, college education, okay, 401k, all the mad, all the mad. That's how we fell. College is failing. The 401k is failing. It's, it's already failing in, in, in its process. Uh, in, in its, uh, so-called fruition, or it's, uh, you know, at its height of its thing, you know what I mean? And, 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 and they did a poll for like 70% of, uh, uh, they did a, uh, he saw how this fiscal poll where they were saying, they were asking, uh, you know, uh, how many people would like to join the military? And like 70% of the people said they would not, they would not want to join the devil's military, man. They would like the devil to bring it back to military draft, the NDAA and so forth, they, uh, you know, you know uh, from 18 to 26, the both male and female, so people will get drafted, which they're going to probably increase that because even Russia did that. They went up to 50. Yeah, they, they, they were drafting men up, in, up to 50 to even the uh, 60s, right? And it went into drafting women. Yeah, so, drafting Ukraine is just snapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, they're going to other countries and snatching them up. I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they said, oh, hey, 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 you know, uh, soldiers and warriors, so they know, hey, they're coming out to go get you. Hey, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more. It says, uh, yeah, and, and the beginning of immortality for to come. Hey, well, that's funny. Wherein corruption is past, intemperance is at an end. So what, man, all this, this intemperate water, this, uh, 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 this, you know, the stuff that cannot, you know what I mean? The, the stuff that can't stand it, 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 everything is not, it's not all put together, man. Right? It says infidelity is cut off, right? It's not, none of you are faithful to anything. You're faithful to your belly, right? As long as whoever, whoever is, uh, 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 whatever benefits you at the time, you jump in it. That's my side. That's what I'm doing, right? Like, a, uh, uh, what's it, um, what's it, Richard Pryor? Yeah, he had to, said there's five games in his, in his neighborhood. And whatever side was winning, that's my side, right? Yeah, that, that's, that's basically what you're what you thinking. You know what I mean? Righteousness is wrong, but wrong and truth is sprung up. Hey, so now we're what? We're, we're, we're standing up on our feet and, and, and what the, the elite are afraid. They said they're they afraid once they see us standing up on our feet, right? So now all sorts of things that have to happen, they have to push that, uh, was it, uh, Operation Warp Speed, and now they're bringing in the MOTV faster than you could possibly think, man. But, uh, you got a preset, uh, preset up, sorry, y'all talking to This is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. It says, where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. All right, the good of all that's the going to give it to Yashua. It says the Psalms, like, before you, uh, before you, the Malachi, before you, 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 before you,
but the righteous showeth mercy and and giveth for such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off Uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 14 it says for the hope of the ungodly is like dust that is blown away with the wind like a thin frost that is driven away with the storm like as a smoke which is dispersed here and there with a tempest if y'all trying to bring that tempest man it's in the midst of the all right it says uh it passes away as a remembrance of a guest that tarried but a day Right? So the, 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 the wicked can be like a green, like an apple Okay? It says, so Wisdom Solomon 5 and 15, but the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei and the care of them is with the Most High Yahweh. All right? Mm -hmm. and that's, that's where I come from, like, man. Right? Like I said in Proverbs 18 and 2, uh, uh, the name of the Lord is that strong power. You know what I'm saying? The name of the Lord is that strong power. There's, there's not there's only one name under heaven that we should call on for the salvation. That's the name of the only name of the Alright, here's the point here. The last one. And uh wisdom of Solomon 5 and 16. It says, Therefore shall they receive the glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown for the Lord Yahweh by Shimon Shah's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. That's the Bible. It says in uh Psalm 91, says uh, how uh you know uh, Yahweh by Shimon Shah the book of Job, chapter 20, verse 5. It says, uh, I'll slack up chapter 4. Knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon the earth? That the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of a hypocrite but for a moment. Though his excellency bowed up to the heavens, and his head reach high up to the clouds, yet he shall perish forever, like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Reservation, 
in the slow places that you're around and in all the other places where well, you're in the slums, man. Right? Slum Slum Dog Millionaire was probably a Jake, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, Syria, 
okay, uh, Iranian militants were helping uh, Syria take the oil back to Esau. Okay? When, uh, during the time of that 2011 coup, when Esau, you know, seized like 90% of oil from the level, all right, Syria, all right, they, they, they're down, 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 they're down,
And we're the people, you know, we're prophesying everything that's, that's getting ready to come in the Bible. All right, they still will go to the Christian church to hear lies all day, every Sunday, man. When you watch videos now more and more, when you watch online, who is it that you see coming against us more than it? Like, if we're not watching, the folk has probably the only Edomites that you see coming in a, in a wave of so, uh, 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 Negroes, right? Right. All of them real arrogant and prideful and ignorant about the way that they would never actually ever read before. You know? Don't now all of a sudden they know the Bible. Uh, don't be know what the hell they're talking about. At they all. still don't know what they're talking At about. All. But, no. but hey, but like Apostle Char uh, Apostle said, we're making them study. No, we're yeah. making them study, yeah. man. Yeah. And even then, they still get yeah. the seed. They show it the seven. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9, verse 6. It says, Thine habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit, they refuse to know me, says the Lord Yahweh by Shemir was shut. Jeremiah 96. We'll read it there. Right. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 6. It says, I habitation is in the midst of deceit. With deceit, they refuse to know me. Except the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. That's what the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. They need a coming to death. They need a coming to death. Lord, we're actually coming to death. That's why we're in the predicament right now. But we need grace because. We can't, uh, uh, we can't uh, committing, uh, uh, indulging in premeditated sin. We were guilty of premeditated sin. That's why your house shows that there's a sacrificial land, replaces sacrificial laws, because what the law text commands couldn't do, he could keep the people. Okay, but what the law text commands, the first one coming from the first was, you know, we're trapped in his flesh, say the darkness, your house shows could fulfill, man. Which, which also, your house shows, uh, he, because he's the only Israelite who actually kept the law completely. And that's where, where it actually goes in at, because he's the only one who kept every law and did it completely. And now his, his sacrifice is, is, um, is, 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 is perfect. It's, it's the perfect sacrifice for us to atone us back to the Father, right? Right? I got one more. Verse 7. Therefore, thus said the Lord, I will find him in a home. Behold, I will melt them Ooh. and try them. For how should I do for the daughter of my people? Okay, so the Lord said, I got an order to it, go leave you here and melt you, man. That's the suffering. You, 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 you wrapped up, okay, your mindset's one, it's in his life, man. If you want to stay upon his life, instead of staying upon the Holy One of Israel, man. All right? And it proves that the Lord still loves you because he still says you're the daughter of my people. He still says he still recognizes you as his, as his people, but it's not that he wanted you to do it. Man, uh, uh, for righteousness sake, man, you got to. You gotta get put away. The Lord says, put away evil from Israel, man. You, we have to do that so in order to go into the kingdom, man. Right. You gotta put away wickedness away from Israel. That's pretty much what the Lord told the priest to do. And you, you think the Lord is gonna do something different? You gotta put away wickedness. Jake is so rebellious to the point the only way that they would ever get right is to put it down. That's about it. The only way, the only way that they would ever get right is to be severely punished because their mindset, that's all they respect. They don't respect words, you know. All they respect is, is, is violence. Yeah. You know, that's how that's how they do it. Yeah, I have to preach that. Uh, I got one. Oh, this is Ezekiel uh, 22 and uh, 8. It says, "Thou hast despised mine holy things and hast profaned my Sabbath." All right. So, 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 what you saying? You know, uh, Yashua despised what is holy. Okay? They don't. They don't. They don't take glory. Okay, in what is holy because they don't see any profitability. Behind it. They don't see how it's expedient for their salvation. Okay, they, they believe that America, Babylon the Great, is in the field. Okay, based off what Esau had given them, which is the Bible of Second Peter two and nineteen, where it says they that promise them liberty are they themselves the servants of corruption. Their liberty is freedom. Esau giving our people freedom. Okay, uh, to, to, to the wicked. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, says that uh, Heaven Father Yahweh said he, uh, he didn't give us license. Okay, that's how Esau and uh, under Esau's uh, God complex created off on Edomite supremacy. He has he has looked to sit as God on earth, like I said in Second Thessalonians two four. Okay, okay? You see that that's why he, he at some point he's gonna uh, you know outlaw the scriptures. It's like in, uh, in, in the Book of Maccabees in the time of the Greeks getting Edomite supremacy. He dealt with going around and burning the scriptures. And they gonna do that again, man. Uh, essentially, gonna do that again by trying to uh, outlaw the scripture. Right? Okay, so they, they they can remove 
okay, the, 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 uh, they, they can remove righteousness, they can, they, they can attempt to remove righteousness in earth and establish uh, wickedness and new righteousness. Like it says in Isaiah 5 and 20, it won't be until they cause good evil and, 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 and uh, evil good evil good company. Okay, so this is uh, Ezekiel uh, 22, jump down to verse 18, sorry, verse 17. It says, And the word of the Lord Yahweh came to me, saying, Verse 18, Son of man, the house of Israel is, is to me become gross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the gross of silver, because silver is lower quality than gold. All right, and Isaiah 13 chapter, and the father said that he's going to gonna make a man more precious than the, the, fine, the fine gold. Man. All right, find the, 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 uh, the gold of fine. We love the gold of hope, man. All right, because the men of Joshua, the 104 for thousand specifically, okay, are going to be uh, shining like the lights in the world, man. Like it says in uh, uh, 2 Peter 1 and Yeah, okay. also, also in, uh, uh, was it, uh, Daniel 12, uh, right? It says in that Daniel 12. Uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay, uh, Ezekiel 21, so like Ezekiel 22 and 19, says, Therefore, thus the Lord God, you hold, because you are all become gross, but behold, therefore I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem, verse 20, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tend into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and, it, and I will leave you there and melt you. See, that, that's when it comes to, uh, by way of this uh, ICBM, the supplier, man. Like uh, the elder brother, the mother, elder, uh, uh, Yash, uh, 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 Uriah, like I say, you know, you sing that song, that tune, ICBM, the supplier. That's what's coming, man. This is coming to America, but I want to bring pressure that'll take that, the MOTV. Okay? That's great. That's great. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, and verse 30. Rough probate, actually, I'm going to start at. Uh, Verse 28, verse 27. I have set before a tower and a fortress among my people, that thou mayest know and try their way. They are all grievous revolters, walking with slanders. They are brass and iron. Right, right. And that's why the Lord set up his men, okay, to bring out this truth. When our people are revolters, okay, uh, they, 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 uh, they don't want to listen to the word, man. You know what? The, 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 the way Jeremiah, they were set up in that time as a prophet, it says, uh, they are all brass and iron, they are all corrupted. The bellows are burnt, the lead is consumed of the fire, the founder melts in vain. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our people are not what? Captivity after captivity. Yeah. To hell, to hell, to hell, to hell, man. And, and our people still don't want to listen, man. Yeah. We will be we will fly here to America back on the grave to suffer punishment, man. In correction, not to be prosperous. Okay, even though hey, our people have been put through all this uh, 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 hell, our people still, still don't want to listen. Right. I, I got a good piece of money. Uh, 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 this is uh, Jeremiah chapter five, verse nineteen. It says, "And it shall come to pass when ye shall say, Wherefore doth the Lord Yahweh of power all these things to us? It shall not answer them, like as ye have forsaken me and served strange gods in your land." So shall you serve strangers in a land that is not yours. And that's America about the Greek. Like the land that the God said, we were not right here to share the prosperity. Yeah, it's like, you know, it was the contrary. We were brought, we were brought over here uh, to be in this subjection, okay? Uh, 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 to be, and, and, and to, uh, to, to be uh, 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 afflicted, to be oppressed. See? So our enemy, our child, was going to come. So that way we would learn, okay, to, to, uh, to seek refuge in our power, such as the okay? No, the no, the no, 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 for the wicked are not thus away. Okay, man, today the wicked still don't want to get it, man. The wicked of our people, they don't want to get okay, the truth. And okay, they want to remain in the congregation of the dead, man. You see, uh, uh, what does it say? It says they, they are willingly ignorant. You see, uh, verse 30, uh, reprobate silver shall men call them because the Lord Yahweh by Shimei or Chai have rejected them. Yeah, so just going to what he was saying, uh, reprobate silver. 
right? Because, you know, and, and that, that's, uh, that's weird for the world because a lot of people, they think to themselves, well, you know, I'm righteous somewhat, you know, but uh, you, you got to be 100%, man, all right? It's like, well, look at the truth. You can't have 99% of the truth. You got to have 100% of the truth. Anything less than that, it less the problem. I like right, my point. It's got a little leaven left to hold on. And so you got a chance. They could be, they could be, that's why you always try to say it. Not all those who call, as they say, say it's a little more, you would not be safe. Yeah, because leaven spreads. It could be just a little bit, but it spreads. It's like a, it germinates. It spreads. So it could just be a little bit of leaven, but that's why it, it, it leavens the whole world. So this, I got Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9, that this is a rebellious people dealing with the Israelites, dealing with you, you so called black, Hispanic, and Indians, man. Right? You're rebellious people. Lying sons or sons and sons. That will not hear the law of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Man, you don't want to hear the truth, man. But like the Lord, like the brother said, we come out here to preach, we come out here to tell the truth. Rather be here for bear, man. It says, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. Right? And they just want us to what? prophesy of madness. And that's why they go back to those churches. That's why a lot of even some of these people that so called come into this this uh Israelite thing of ours, they'll go back to their own vomit, man. They'll, they'll go back to being the bull man. You we know, don't go back to their own vomit, man. Because uh, uh, uh you, you rather hear deceit, man. Well the, the thing is not only the churches, but even these other Israelite groups. Yeah, right. They're going back to church. Let you grow let you grow your long hair, they let you uh, line up your beard. They wear hats, and then you uh, have sex with the Sabbath. You see? They just do it in the butt. <laughs> 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 hey, you know? Hey, they, hey, and look, not even just that. Their doctrine is going back to Christianity. Now there's a, there's such a hell, right? Now there's only one God. Now there's only one God. Now there's only one God. And then the Father is the same. Yeah, and that's Christianity. Yeah, he's saying, he's saying, uh, yeah, how shy is the God in the Old Testament? That's what that is, man. You can't have the Father without the Son. You right. see, the Father created the Son, and the Son created us right. under the proper order. Right. That's why our people, they, they just love death. You put preacher on the wood. You got to follow. It says, uh, let me finish this off. It says, uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 11, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, man. So turn aside out of the, the, the ways of America, Babylon the Great, or whatever place you're at. Right, because the spirit of America, the spirit of of, 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 of of sin and folly, is throughout the whole world, man. Technically, but the main place is here, Babylon the Great. It says, um, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us, man. So, man, because that's that's what happened, man. You, you called the Lord to just turn His back on us, man. For the Lord to say, hey, look, I y'all want to act like that? Yeah, just want to be rebellious? I'm just, gonna, I ain't gonna hear your prayers. To, to somebody stands up and, 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 and uh, you know what's so it was a certain time, right? The time of Abba Bivens now the Lord starts to hear us, man. The time that Abba Bivens came up to, to our elders now, man. Now he's starting to hear us. Now we'll go back into my place to be acknowledged your offense, man. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're acknowledging, we're acknowledging our offenses and stuff. Right? Uh, Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 3 says, And death shall be chosen rather than life, but all the residue of them that remain of this evil family which remain in all the places whither I have driven them, except the Lord God will find Shemuel Shai of both. That's why uh, Zephaniah 3 1 is our people to come to Okay, because of, because of pollution that we join throwing ourselves onto, right? The wickedness of the world. Okay, you know, influenced by the heat. That's why. You know, read, read, what you know, uh, what it said, the same, uh, excuse me, Jeremiah 10 chapter, said, uh, the Heavenly Father said, go you not in the way of the people. Okay? So, so boy, we like it, because Jake is very impressionable. Okay? You know, our people are very impressionable, very gullible. All right? And they, they, like, they, like, they like to go with shrimps. You see? So, that, and that's why, that's why in Leviticus uh, 20, 26, Heavenly Father said, I will sever you from other nations. Because holy means separate. Okay? We were not, so that's why uh, it says, God. It says, I'm going all the nations, right? Yeah. The, the, the Lord said that, uh, well, even he told uh, Moses, 
you said these people are going to go, and it's, it's going to be scary to them, right? They're, they're going to they're going to fall away. They're going to go. They're going to uh, start serving other gods, right? So he told that to Moses before that even happened, and then uh, after Moses died, it, it went over to uh, was it Joshua. Joshua. And then there was a time where Joshua went through, and all the Israelites went circumcised for a while, right? They stopped doing it. They stopped doing it. So he, the Lord knows that you, you Jakes are just going to go off, man, right? But now it's the time that you, you must come back because this is the time of the end, man. This, hey, we're we're closer than we ever when we first believed, man. They're pushing the uh, the Karagma. World War Three is at the brink. Hey, a martial law, the uh, uh, all out, uh, what is it, uh, uproars of the people is about to be out here. Real soon. That's another reason. That's another one of those stupid doctrines as well that we already in the second covenant, but niggas is still out here wicked as hell. <laughs> when the laws is going to be placed in our inward parts, it's going to be programmed into our so-called DNA, man. So you don't go off of it. Uh, you know, we do. Yeah, we were always known for one generation to the next. And we were screwed up. Uh, the book of Judges goes to take it through that. Yeah. You're right. Okay, this is uh, Malachi chapter 3, verse 2. But who may abide in the day of his coming, right? Hey, so then the day that the Lord is going to come and judge this place. So, how, how are you going to abide in that day of, of judgment, man? The Lord said, What he said, that fire, man. Right? The Lord is going to bring fire, man, hot fire, uh, nuclear fire, right here, right here. This one fire of his jealousy, right? It says, and who shall stand when he appeared, right? Who the world even called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai is going to appear, man. And who's going to be able to stand, man? Only the light, Lord willing, will we be those men, right? For he is like a refiner's fire, right? Hey, there you go, right? He's going to refine you with that, with the, with the what? With the jealousy, right? With the fire of his jealousy, a refiner's fire, yeah, that cleansing agent. And like a refiner's soap. And he shall set as a refiner and purifier of silver. Right? Hey, talking about that silver, that dross. The Lord's going to, hey, he's going to refine us, man. Make us that, that pure silver, man. That good silver. Right? Not not, not, not tainted, man. And, and he have purified the sons of Levi and purged them as gold. Right, in which now we're all priests, man. It ain't just the Levites. So now all 12 tribes are priests, man. So that's what the Lord's doing. He's refining us, man. And he's purging us as, as them as gold and silver that they may offer unto Yahweh, but show me how will shine, an offering of righteousness, man. Woo! This is uh, Malachi chapter 3, uh, verse 2 and 3. Yes. Yeah. Second Ezra, chapter 8, and I'm going to start at verse 1. And he answered me, saying, The Most High hath made this world for many, but the world to come for few. I will tell thee a similar to Ezra, as when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee, that it giveth much gold whereof earthen vessels are made, but little dust that gold comes of, even so with the force of this present world. So most, most of the people on earth are, are, are moldy. They're like moldy bread. All right? And the Lord, he don't even want silver, let alone moldy bread. He said, he said, he said, the earth only is going to give, it only brings a very small amount of gold dust. And that's the force of this present world. That's what we're living in now. Most people walking around, they like moldy bread there. They're completely worthless. All right, you toss it to the side. You can't even eat it. It's filthy. It's disgusting. All right, verse 3. It says, there be many created, but few shall be saved. I think he told Jeremiah, they just like a, they're like a garbage walking. Right? I believe he took, told him to take, uh, take uh, he said, take your, uh, your vest or your, your leg your, that you wear around it, take it off and put it under a rock. We were told to come back. We were came back. And he said, he said, this is like the, the people of Israel. They, they, they're, they're, they're going off. They're, they're off. So they're, they're no good. Like I said. It's not good for nothing. Man. If you put that on, how, how did that uh, basically, um, how did that girt you up? 
Now that girdle is not even, it's, it's not, it's no good. Right. You can't bring you back that back structure because it's all kind of right. so <laughs> loose, it's yeah. all falling apart. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The book of Hosea, chapter 5, and verse 15, says, I will go and return to my place so they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they they will seek me early. Mm. And then, and then the time to seek him early now, like it says in Isaiah 55, it says, Seek the Lord. First, that Karagma has to get pushed. Uh, but yeah, yeah. First, Karagma has to get pushed. But yeah, those are the things that's certain to come, man. Yeah. Yep. Sound of that cry. Uh, he will answer thee. And how did he answer? He said, The men of the Lord 
I don't know how it is in Broadway to tell you this is the way to walk you in. All right? Don't go to the right, don't go to the left. You know, find the foot of your path and keep on the straight and narrow. Because this is what's going to lead to salvation, immortality, and eternal life. Yeah, I, got, I got one real quick. Uh, it says, uh, Revelation, right? Because uh, you want to tell what you were saying, you heard that voice. So, Revelation chapter 1, verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, right? So he turned, yeah, yeah, that voice was behind him, right? So he turned to see the voice that spake with him, right? He said, and and being turned, I, I saw seven golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like the Son of Man, clothed with the garment, down to the foot, and girt about the patch with a golden girdle. And his head and his hairs were white like wool, and as, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto the uh, like unto fine brass, as if it burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Uh, but yeah, that's basically dealing with Yahweh Shai. Man, that's that voice that, that you hear. Because the Lord said that he's going to speak, send a spirit that, that shall not speak of himself. So when that spirit, even though it is the spirit of Christ, it's not speaking of itself. It's speaking of, of the works of Yahweh Shai, how Yahweh Shai died for us, right? So that's all we always speaking about how the Lord died for the elect and the died for Israel, man. And not, when that, that world that you were speaking about is is uh, um, is, is not talking about Orkhamene. It, it, it's talking about a cosmos, man. It's talking about a, a organization, a governmental organization. The Lord started his his government, man. Right? That number 12, 12 goes into government. 12 tribes, 12 angels on 12 gates, man. Talking about the government of, of Israel, man. Not not dealing with any of you other nations. It tells you specifically in the scriptures that the heathen shall be in the outer courts, man. How can everybody get in that when that's revelations? You're gonna be in the outer courts. So how do you come up with anything different? And, and the verse says spirit of Christ, you know, just, but we, we know oh, that's just yeah, the anointed, the anointed, anointed, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, anointed, which is Hamashiach, right? Yeah. right? Really, you go Hamashiach. Yeah. I'm just I saying it for yeah, how yeah, people, because yeah, 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 yeah. people say that. So I'm sorry, it's a lot that, that people falsely call Christ, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just put Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh. The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right. Right. The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Uh, Isaiah 42 9 says, Before, before these things spring forth, etc. Okay, so I'm here to declare what Yahweh you know, had in store for us, and he has in store for the Hebrews. Because the false balance is about me. So the heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay, despite that false perception of him being all good and all loving, okay, is not the biblical description of the heavenly Father. The heavenly Father is, 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 is uh, very terrible in wrath to the weak, okay, very, very long suffering, okay, merciful uh, 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 to the righteous, okay. We have, uh, we have our, uh, we have our, uh, we have that, that uh, the gate of uh, mercy to so repentance, okay? Because so without repentance, uh, uh, bring death. That's what, that's what we've been sent out here for, to show our people the path of repentance back to the reality of life. Okay? Right. You know, they don't repent, they're going to be destroyed. Right. Either repent or you die. That's the same message, man. Every single time you come out here and say, how about Shemesh, I call the, the, my tongue to plead to rule from out. You say, the plead, you ask me to plead to me, excuse me, seek me to plead to me, say, it's not true.
Uh, second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 36. Leave the shadow of this world, receive the joyfulness of their glory. I testify my Savior openly. Oh, Okay, you know, that's why down there, you know, yeah, he's talking about the hopeless, you know, he got, he, he got, uh, all these monuments, okay, all these, all these, you know, pushing forth all these, uh, uh ancient, you know, Egyptian, uh, uh, uh deities and so forth. Yeah. Homosexuality, God, big God, yeah. God. that's what was going on in Egypt, because that's what the Lord said, do not as the, uh, as, uh, the Egyptian and do not do as the, uh, uh, the land that I'm, I'm in, came in, you know, I'm into, right, so, uh, and then when it be right after that, it goes into all the things that they were doing. And you know, that's why it, when it goes into, uh, if a man had, had lay with a man, as if he lied with a woman. So that means what? Also, Egypt was doing that, and then the people in Canaan was doing that. Which is the reason why the Lord was kicking them out that land. Right? So that's why the Lord said, hey, don't do as they do. I'm going to put you out the land. So what, what, what of course, we, we did those things that, that, that was, you know, that was unlawful. You know? So we got put out the land. So now we're in this place. And, and it's it's almost pleasant to these to these things like a lot of these jokes, right? It's pleasant to keep doing uh, uh, abominable things, you know, and, and uh, 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 sinning going against the laws of the Most High, man. Homosexuality, uh, 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 adultery, they, they like that stuff. I mean, that's why they sing songs like I, I mess with your woman, you know, your woman like is oh is that your chick? You know what I mean? That type of things, you know what I mean? Oh, was that? <laughs> they no longer go with bitter uh, constraint. Right? Right. Where they used to go to the celebration of Bacchus. Now they, you know, they planted it. You know. Oh yeah, they can't wait to Fourth yeah. of July. But you know what happens doing that? I, I had to go pick up my cousin one time because he got busted doing the food at the jail. And you should see how many jakes were in jail just because they wanted to, they wanted to, want to go celebrate Fourth of July. All these jakes were coming out of jail. Having, having no shoestrings on because you know the police, you know they take off your shoestrings and all that other stuff. All these chicks are outside with their with their all their uh, belongings inside of a bag, coming out of jail. And I'm thinking, here's what you niggas get, man. Celebrate some shit that have nothing to do with you. And every time you go out there, something happens, man. You end up in jail or shot or killed or something. Something's gonna happen to you. You know, you have no business. That's the Lord trying to show you. You have no business out there. You know. Three and eight. It says, "Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, but Thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power." Here, we can be quite up and stuff and speak on that. It says, "Lamentations 5 and 4, we were given a new view to suffer the iniquity of our forefathers, because we are forefathers of the Right? Now, now we're suffering, so like like a forefather grandma said. Why are we spoiled? Because it's because of the, the, the many transgressions, the manifold transgressions that the laws have commanded. But if there's many transgressions, it is manifold temptations throughout the people. Okay, of uh, going against our power. You see, and that's why the Lord brought that hatchet upon us, man. Because of the captivity. That's the real reason why the transatlantic slave trade happened. That's the reason that's the, that's the real reason why the battle of the Alamo happened. That's the real reason why the battle of Wounded Knee happened in the uh, both in the uh, 19th century, the end of the 19th century and the 1970s. And all these different secular uh, accounts of, of, of Historical uh, uh, affliction, oppression that's happened to us because they haven't thought about it, like you probably brought out in Jude, the fifth chapter. Okay, okay. Well, that's why the Campiso came, uh, and I think we did it. The Spaniards and the Jacob over there, yeah. The French, yeah, that's why the French over there, you know, uh, you know, turning out, it's continuing to uh, uh, turn out the, the land of Haiti where the uh, Levites, brothers and sisters are at, okay, like, like, we, like they're doing, all of us. If you didn't Israel, uh, if they were to refuse to let us go, if you didn't Israel, you know, first okay. thing the other. Uh, and that's why, uh, you know, that's why uh, uh, in the 18th century, okay, there was, there was an account that came out that, uh, that, that uh, mentioned how the so-called Negroes and indigenous were both enslaved under slavery, right? okay? And I don't, I don't want to misquote the name of the slave ship. It was, it was something like the Santa Ana or something like that, the San, the San Maria, okay? But uh, anyway, yeah, man, it's, it's overwhelming proof okay? that the, the, the two sticks are the so-called ne uh, Negroes and indigenous. We fulfill the prophecies of, of the curses so that happened to the who else is speaking? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who are the demographic people fulfill these curses? I got one right here. It says Haggai chapter 1, verse 6. 
and he soweth much and bring in little. He eat, but ye have not enough. He drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, you clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put him to put it into a bag with holes. That's what we do, we pay our bills. Okay, when we when we fulfill our you know our daily, you know, adult obligations, whatnot, that that comes with pain and stuff. You know, we gotta you know, put these, you know, put our money in these damn holes. Okay? So we are not no so we we're, we're that's where it concerns that we're 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 slaves to the wicked weed. You see what I'm saying? So we have a social security number, we're property to wicked weed. Hey, if you think Thursday or Friday, uh, come Monday, Tuesday, you have no more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. yeah. searching through your account yeah. for pennies and all yeah. kinds of shit, man. Save a little something, something up in the car for a few. I was going to say that. I was going to say that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was going to say, yeah. Know, the furnace stops working. The air conditioning goes out. You and know? you're barely making enough. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was just going to say. You're barely scraping by and you're on your car breaking down. Or like you said, your AC goes out. Yeah. Something yeah. happens, man. Yeah. Person, you know, that's what it's called here. You know, it's, uh, it's church and the most high is beautiful because your AC goes out and everything you just say is just enough to get it fit. <laughs> that's what, you know, even in this, he shows mercy, man. You know, you saved up a couple of months today. What you thought was one thing, it was just something else. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In your, in your car, why you think I want to yeah. go? I'm gonna go into something else. Yeah, now. yeah, money, yeah. And now yeah. you're not. Yeah. And boom, right now, boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah.
She's having fun at the moment. You don't want to, you want to put us in the uh, you know, the slave you know, the transatlantic slave trade. You know what I'm saying? The uh, uh, the uh, sub-Saharan, the trans-Saharan slave trade with uh, Ishmael, Ham, and Esau. Okay, the, the trans-Pacific slave trade. It's so cool, man. He has you. He has a lot of this evil to it, like I mentioned again in the night chapter. He said uh, all this, you know, no matter evil under the heaven, what can happen? Uh, uh, to to the time. Come on, man. Like yeah, no other evil can happen. Yeah, it's great because what else? So how did Amalek fit that? Amalek will bring up that, that thing that supposedly happened with the dude with the weird mustache and over checked my like, oh, uh, yeah. one point something. Uh, a fellow a Jewish man. Con, con, con. Oh, yeah. yep. Yep, yeah. the brother said it. That dude wasn't a, a team in that dude. Oh, man. That dude was a, a, a rock shot. He was a mountain. Right, and yeah. they took trains. They took a train. That's not a ship. That's not a ship. Uh, and then uh, that's, right. that's not just one. You wouldn't have changed when you were on that train. Right. I mean, at least they should have... I mean, if you're going to try to uh, pull a wool over people's eyes, which I guess I didn't have to do much. People are that stupid. They, they weren't even in chains. If you go back and watch some of those, those videos when they were on those trains, all of them jumped off the train without any shackles on. So they, how would you abuse to the point that this guy was so, so terrible to you? When they when they go back and they tell you that they had uh, they had movie theaters. Yeah, this is about them there. They had, yeah, they had yeah. movie theaters. They had luxury for entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. They showed them spraying them down. But that was just because they were full of lice. They lousing them. They lousing them. Yeah, they were making them. They were making Jake bathe in vinegar. They were making Issachar bathe in uh, vinegar. Okay, when it was crossing the border, they're making uh, uh, Esau claim they had you no know, uh, pestilence or called pestilence. Okay, and they would they would they would make uh, Issachar and Zebulon bathe in. Uh, uh, take vinegar baths to do that, that process. Okay, so that, that's that's something that's that's like very animalistic. You know, that's that's very that's very animalistic uh, 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 treatment. Okay, so how, how, what are the different demographic people have gone through this? Man? Okay, you you Malachites, you, you Malachites are trying to uh, make yourselves fit the curses when when you uh, uh, and within those main efforts here, you're trying to expose yourselves to not be the people. Most high Yahweh and keep his commandments. 
for this is the whole duty of man. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's the right. very life of man. Duties of men of Israel. He says in uh, Joel, the second chapter, the second chapter, he says, he's men of Israel. Yeah. That's, only, that's only man and men that we call us calling for. Okay? Because really, you know, what constitutes a man according to the, the, according to the scriptures, the, the rights of certain scriptures, is the standing on principles to, to fight for righteousness. That's why it's around 428, it says, strive for the truth to death, and I will fight for you. See, that goes into what we've been saying, but we've been saying for, you know, for, 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 no, for, for the longest, okay? You know, Yahweh Vashem and Shah don't even fight for those who fight for him, okay? It says in Proverbs 8, 36, uh, those who hate me love death. okay? You know, hate is actually just like love in action. Love is just rehearsing the rightful law, such as the one of the greatest here, right? you can't keep all of them. Stuff. So one of the greatest of the Mashiach, right. Yahweh Shah's relationship, we're rehearsing this, that's what I mean. Right, to be deemed worthy enough to be spared from what the, 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 the inclination was in the grace of the plague. Being that greatest of all plagues was his brother's holding this enemy. All right, that, 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 uh, uh, that, that uh, being the destruction, okay, through this last world war, that second death. Okay, that's what's coming to this place. All right, in the foreseeable future, not the distant future. Okay, right. where are we want to be? God. God. Right. Down from that glass. Now, look at that glass. glass. See? God. God. So, God will write the God. All right, Lord willing, this means Lord willing, this was uh, this camp of this was right ahead of my to let the call it to face me. All praise the Lord, give me honor. See your home! All right, all praise him, Father, your holy name, Lord, we got to turn out shine, Holy Spirit, and our strength, and our spirit, and our strength, and our demons, and our life, and our vision. All right, Kayla Hebrew, I'm going to rush you out, 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 Onto our faces, where God shall be God's application on the present and the like the man who is born in the truth. All right, we have the ball, 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 the ball,